goose represents water and fluidity, the ebb and flow of emotions, situations, and relationships. It appears during the series of runes because of the numerous water trials, challenges, and purification rites that the Mystery School initiates had to endure. For example, the initiates would have their hands tied behind their backs and their ankles bound together. Then they would wait inside of a cave which had an opening facing the sea. Once the tide started to roll in, huge waves would rush into the cave and then slowly fall back out to the sea. As the cave became filled with the tide waters, the initiate would be tossed about on these waves. If the initiate struggled and resisted, they could drown. But if the initiate surrendered and let their body flow with the tide, with lagoos, then a wave would gently lift their body, carrying them out to sea, and then float up onto the shore safely. Within the Scandinavian countries, people attributed waterscapes with morals, values, emotions interwoven within the mythological characters and stories. The ancient myths, legends, and folklore reflect a very prominent belief that the waters were sacred, seductive, dangerous, and wise. All bodies of water played an important part for the ancient Norse people, both concerning life and death, physically to sustain life, and symbolically in their spiritual lives. The Scandinavian countries were dependent on the bordering bodies of water for food, travel, trade, burials, and even their ancient spiritual ceremonies. Shamanic cultures all around the globe honor the spirit water as a very sacred and vital element. Just like the sea, lagoos can bring health, wealth, hope, abundance, and the fulfillment of dreams, or it can bring suffering, lack, and fear. This rune reminds us that we all have natural intuition and psychic abilities, but fear, anger, hatred, and jealousy will block the flow of these gifts. One of the most common causes of illness and disease, according to shamans, is misplaced energy. Emotion takes the form of energy. It can be stored throughout the body if not properly released and healed, which is then what leads to illness. Energy is meant to change form. So when energy gets stuck in one form, rather than keep changing as it's meant to, is when that trapped energy can create imbalance. Suffering, pain, and trauma can all carry a heavy energy that becomes stored in our body, mind, and soul. Shamans are trained to be able to transform energy from one state into another. They use these abilities to change the energy within themselves, as well as help release trapped stagnant energy in other people and environments. However, with the correct training, practice, and discipline, even individuals who are not shamans can develop this ability to help address the misplaced energy. In order for your innate mystical gifts to be revealed, it may be necessary for you to transmute and release negative emotions like fear, hatred, anger, and resentment. These dark emotions come from the feeling that we are separate from others, and so we need to protect ourselves from those who wish to harm us. We hold onto anger, hatred, and blame, seeking revenge for our vindictive grudges. Laguz reminds us not to resist or push back against emotions or situations that arise. If we allow ourselves to surrender and move with the energy, it will have the opportunity to float by and dissipate rather than become stagnant and cause illness and disease. Pay attention to your dreams because you may be challenged and tested just like the initiates were. How would you have reacted during that challenge in the cave? Would you have panicked and resisted the water or would you have surrendered and flowed with the waves? Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time when we explore room number nine.